I love the movies. I love everything about it. I love going to the movies, talking about the movies. I have my whole life. And that's why about five months ago, my wife, my four girls, and myself took the big leap and we purchased our beloved small town movie theater. It's been shut down for a couple of years due to COVID. We reopened it and it's been going amazing ever since. It's been a dream come true. We've sold out several weekends and it's been growing and growing and we're really having a blast with it. The reason for this video is, I keep hearing people say the movie theater business is dying and that makes me really upset because it's not true. And I can show you at my own theater that it's not true and many other theaters. I think what's dying is the large warehouse cineplex style theaters. And I don't think they have to die. I believe the CEOs of those companies are making some foolish decisions right now and they need to get back to the basics, get back in the driver's seat and turn things around. You ready? The name on the middle of that steering wheel should tell you that I was born ready. Shelby, hit it. I've got a plan for these CEOs and I think we can fix this problem. <laughs> These goats and chickens are best friends. It's pretty entertaining. We're gonna have some more homesteading videos coming up, but today's video I think is a very important one. I absolutely love the movies and I hate to see what's going on with these big chain warehouse movie theaters. So we're gonna talk about that. And then we're doing our big turnover day on Sunday at the movie theater. We are gonna be playing Ant-Man and we have a free showing of Paddington 2 and it's always exciting turning the whole movie theater over. And I've gone a little bit of a rant in this video, but I want to say I am so thankful and so blessed. Our little movie theater in Montello, it's been doing awesome beyond our wildest dreams. So we're very thankful to everyone that has come out and very thankful to people that have been watching our YouTube videos. I've had so many people stop in and say, hey, I saw your YouTube video last week and then I came into the theater. Please stop and tell me that because I, I love chatting with people at the theater. So. Um, without further ado, let's jump into today's video and stay tuned till the end so you can see our big turnover day. We're playing Ant-Man right as it comes out, brand new to the whole world. You can come over to Montello Theater, see it for just five bucks. So we're excited for that. Carrie here from the world famous Montello Theater. Actually, I'm in my vehicle. Jen's driving. I wanted to do a quick video. I'm gonna fix the movie theater industry for free. So they're the CEO of some of these big chain warehouse cineplexes are making like 18, 20 million dollars a year. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you ain't heard nothing yet. And their stocks are tanking and nobody's going to their big cineplexes anymore. And frankly, it's really frustrating to me because I love the movie theater industry and these people are gonna bring it to its knees. They're absolutely destroying it for everybody. And it's not that complicated, and I'm gonna do it for you for free right here, right now. Here's what you do. The reason your big chain warehouse movie theaters are failing right now isn't because of COVID, isn't because of lack of movies. I'll show you, here's a screenshot. I can show you a couple. My entire movie theater filled up with people. Sold out, filled up, almost sold out, sold out, almost sold out. I'll show you multiple pictures of that. I am big. It's the pictures that got small nothing to do with COVID or lack of movie selection. I only have one screen and we're able to sell it out. I'm kind of a big deal. The reason people aren't going to your theaters is because you're treating them horribly. Jen and I recently went to a movie at one of these big box chain theaters. I purchased the tickets online for a four o'clock movie and it was in one of their larger screens. It wasn't like an IMAX. So I was expecting to pay a little bit more money than normal. What do you think I paid for two tickets? $38. You like scary movie. So the tickets were slightly less than $38, but to get to the $38, they added on a service charge because I booked online. Here's an idea. Why don't you give me half the money you were gonna bet, and we'll go out back, I'll kick you in the nuts, and we'll call it a day. I get a service charge for booking online. Isn't that saving you money because you don't have to pay a, a cash register person? Okay, so there's my first impression. I'm just basically getting ripped off, but okay. Now we go to the big chain warehouse. Beautiful building, I'll give you that. We go in, there's a, there's a line. We gotta wait like 10 minutes in this line. But the first thing we see when we go in, 
there's probably like six or seven of these self-service kiosks. That's our first impression. Your first impression when you come into Montello Theater or an independently run theater is probably gonna see the owner to be Jen and myself saying, hi, how are you? You had me at hello. Now you go to one of these other places, the first thing you see are seven kiosks. This place, the, the CEO makes $18 million a year. I wouldn't be surprised if they spend a quarter of a million dollar on these kiosks. All right, I'll go to the kiosk, I'll check in, no worries. I like going this way, better than waiting in line. The person in front of me is going to the kiosk to check in and the lady at the cash register, the teenager running the entire operation, yells at him and says, no, you can't, don't, don't go over there, you gotta wait in line. 18. Thank you. Why do I have to wait in line? I already paid for my tickets. We wait in line for 10, 15 minutes, get to the front of the line, and show her the phone. She says, okay, you can go in. Well, what do I wait in line for 15 minutes for? And then I gotta walk past the $250,000 self-service kiosk that no one's allowed to self-service themselves at. That's the first impression you get. Golden rule, would you like to be treated that way? Would you like to wait in line for 15 minutes after you already paid for your tickets and on top of that paid a service charge for them? You probably wouldn't like that too much. Now we go and wait in line at the concession area. Let's get ourselves some concessions. Now I know the concessions are gonna be expensive. They're always expensive at movie theaters. What can I do with $5? Gee, I don't know. Buy a bullet and rent a gun? <laughs> Well, I shouldn't say always, because if you come to Montello Theater, we charge $5 for a large popcorn, $2 for a small popcorn. $2 you can get a popcorn at Montello Theater. I know they're gonna be more expensive at one of these big warehouse chain theaters. It should be, it's a big building. They've got recliner seats. They gotta heat that place, they gotta pay for electricity, they gotta pay 30 teenagers to run the entire operation. So it's gonna be more expensive, but not as expensive as we ever would anticipate, right? $22 for a large popcorn and two regular drinks. We wrap banks. That was their combo, that was their special. Okay, you're gonna gouge me, fine. I'll pay the $22. Stuff that dreams are made of. Knowing in my head, at least, I'm gonna get some delicious movie theater popcorn. I'm gonna pay the premium. There's nothing like movie theater popcorn. We taste the popcorn, it's horrible. Be afraid, be very afraid. It tastes stale. And I'm not just saying this, if the popcorn was good, I would honestly tell you at least the popcorn was good. The popcorn was not good. The popcorn was stale, the popcorn was old, the popcorn was barely warm. We all go a little mad sometimes. $22. Mr. CEO that makes $18 million a year, the geniuses that make millions of dollars, shouldn't you be able to, to figure some of this just basic business stuff out? With great power comes great responsibility. Customer service. Any business can improve and can succeed with good customer service. There's no customer service here and we're getting ripped off. Wait a minute. I'm not done yet. Okay, now let's go into the theater. Beautiful theater, great seats, I'll give you that. I'm, I'm happy to pay more money for my tickets. Our, our tickets at Montella Theater, always $5. Whether you're a senior, a child, whatever, whatever time of day, whatever movie it's showing, it's always $5, very, very simple. I'm paying more money at this big chain theater to sit in a comfortable seat, I'm fine with that. Okay, now I sit down, the trailers start. I enjoy a good trailer. I understand so the theaters wanna show trailers because then maybe they'll come back. Sorry, my car is buzzing. I don't make $18 million as a CEO. I got a crappy car, but that's how we keep our costs down. Alrighty then. The trailers start, I enjoy a good trailer. We watched 11 trailers. I'm not exaggerating, we counted, it was 11 trailers. 19. By trailer eight, I was like, I started laughing. I'm like, there's no way they're gonna show nine trailers. By trailer nine, I was just completely shocked. Trailer 10, and then we got to trailer 11. Whoa! Oh, gee. Over 30 minutes of trailers. Let me ask you this, Mr. CEO of Big Chain Warehouse Cineplex. Do you enjoy watching 11 trailers for 30 minutes before the movie? I can guarantee you nobody enjoys that. Yeah. Well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Say you're gonna go watch Avatar, it's over three hours long. You wanna watch an extra 30 minutes of trailers before? No, I enjoy a couple of good trailers, that's exciting. The new Indiana Jones trailer, awesome, love it. At Montello Theater, here's what we do differently. I show the number of trailers that I as a customer would appreciate seeing, three. That's it, I'm not gonna show 11 trailers and waste my customer's time. Do you really think, Mr. CEO, someone sitting through 11 trailers is like, 
Show me 12, that was great. I'm gonna go tell my friends I just watched 11 trailers as they get home at midnight for the movie. This is just common sense stuff. Like, why are they screwing it up so bad? It's, it's funny. Inconceivable. The other thing that drives me nuts, during a 30 minute marathon of 11 trailers, the lights are on. I've been to several of these big chain cineplexes and they always seem to do that. At Montello Theater, when your three trailers start, as you're enjoying your $2 popcorn with your $5 movie ticket, we will dim the lights to 18% for you so you can enjoy the trailers and see the screen. That's what they do. They leave the lights on for 30 minutes as I'm just sitting there cursing and, and like, damn you all to hell. What are they thinking? After the movie, the seats are comfortable. I will give them credit where credit is due. After the movie, as we're leaving, I have to go use the restroom before we depart from this amazing experience. If I brought my family a sixer, we'd be at over $200 for that movie, for some popcorn and a movie. You are not giving me $200 worth of value. There's no way I'm gonna go tell my friends and come back. You know you're not doing it. It's not sustainable. After I'm leaving the theater, I have to go use the restroom before I exit the theater. All of the lights are turned off. The concessions are off, half the lobby lights are off, and I'm literally walking in the dark thinking to myself, am I allowed to go use the bathroom? I have to walk through a dark lobby to get to the bathroom. At Montello Theater, when you exit the theater, my wife and myself will be standing there saying, how was the movie? Thank you for coming. We have all of the popcorn that's left for the day. We make popcorn fresh, even during the movie, because people come out to our concession window and they buy it. So we're always making hot popcorn. I have a very particular set of skills. I, we don't serve old popcorn. I worry that those other big chains, they probably start popcorn at 10 a.m. for their first movie. They probably make a ton of it, and then they just use that all day, and that's probably why ours tastes cold and stale. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. If you get popcorn at Montello Theater, it's not gonna be over an hour old. It's gonna be hot and it's gonna be delicious. When we're done, instead of just taking all of the popcorn and throwing it in the dumpster, like those guys probably do, we bag it up. We're taking a loss, those bags are kind of expensive. We bag it up into bags and we set it on the concession stand. And when the people walk off, oh, by the way, the lights are on too. The lights are on so they could see when they're walking out of the concession area. We say, hi, how was it? Did you enjoy the movie? Thank you so much. We personally thank everyone for coming to the movie theater. We say, would you like a free bag of popcorn on the house? We made a little bit of extra for you. That goes a long way. That's a little something called customer service. Alrighty then. How do we fix this? Go back to the basics. It's like when a new coach takes over an NFL team. We got to get the basics right. We got to get tackling right. This is not rocket science or brain surgery. It's very simple. Treat others as you would like to be treated. Don't gouge people for the prices. I understand you're going to have to charge more. You have these big monster warehouses, but you don't have to rip people off. And if you're going to charge them so much, give them the best popcorn in the world. Give them the best movie going experience in the world. Not 11 trailers for 30 minutes with the lights on. Not stale popcorn. Not even a thank you for coming by. Did you enjoy the movie? Welcome to our theater. None of that. And I have to pay $200 for the tickets. So as you as the consumer, again, I know I'm biased. Don't even come out to Montello Theater. Go out to all of the independently run theaters. There's thousands of them all over the country. I've mentioned it many times, but I always use Milwaukee as an example because I used to live there. It's a big populated area and everyone I know in Milwaukee, they think the only option is to go to one of these big warehouse cineplexes and pay $200 for their family. It's not. Right out in Watertown, the town cinema, you can go watch Avatar right when it comes out, just like at the big chain theater that you pay $200 for, $3 a ticket you're gonna pay there. You're gonna go to a historic building that's been around, that's got charm, that's got class, that's got history. They're gonna say, how are you doing? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you uh, coming to our movie theater. There's small town independently run theaters all over the country. That's all I have to say about that. So it's Sunday morning and it's our big turnover day. That means we have a new movie and we're excited because we have Ant-Man and the Wasp. Brand new movie. You could go to one of those big warehouse chain theaters and pay an exorbitant fee or you can come to Montreal Theater for five bucks. It's coming out the same time at our theater as every other theater. So we're playing Ant-Man. And then the other really cool thing is we've got Paddington 2 playing Sunday, February 19th at 1 p.m. I'm going through, I use this free program, it's called Canva, and I update our flyer and it's got our times on it. And then we pass these out all around town at different businesses. So now I'm gonna print a whole bunch of these out, and then when we get to the theater, 
We also have to get our big marquee letters out because we have to change the marquee board over. We have to put our posters on the outside. We have to change our phone number, Facebook, website. Everything has to be updated. It's the big movie turnover day at Montello Theater. This has been one of our secret weapons. This is our Epson EcoTank printer. I don't know, maybe everybody knows about these, but I didn't know about them. It has ink that goes in these, and you don't have to buy those really expensive cartridges. And we've literally printed out thousands and thousands of full color sheets of paper. Jen, remember back in the day, you'd probably have to like pay a company to print these out for you? Yeah. We printed out thousands. I think you get 8,000 once you fill that ink up. And it's so much less expensive than buying those cartridges where they rip you off and it's like 50 bucks for a little ink cartridge, and then you're, you're scared to print anything out because it costs so much money. Yeah, those are much cheaper. Where are we going to eat after the movie? Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the... Hello? Hello? So it's Sunday, we're at Montello Theater and Doors open in 15 minutes. I gotta get the projector ready. We gotta get the popcorn going. Everybody's coming inside right now. And it is a big unknown today if we're gonna be really busy or not because, because we're playing at one o'clock and we never play at one o'clock on a Sunday. We shall see. You wanna get the stuff for the sign? Ant Man, you gotta just take a poster with you. It's not versus the wasp. It's Ant Man and the wasp. And Jen, I just want it to be this. Ant-Man and the ampersand instead of and the Ant-Man ampersand wasp no quantum mania we already have PG-13 up there so we don't need it and then free movie Paddington 2 1 p.m. Sunday 1 p.m. free movie Paddington 2 Sunday 1 p.m. Emma's gonna go insane because there's something on her counter she can't have anything on the counter it's staying there it's staying there why it's staying there it's the new. It's staying right where. No, right I'm where. Washing no, the right where it was. You don't have to wash under the cash register. Jen's got all of our letters for Ant Man and the Wasp and Paddington Tune for free. Over here, this is kind of exciting. A little behind the scenes deal. I have the new Ant Man one upstairs. I have to load for next week. And then this one's got to go back. And then this one's got to go back. Bye bye, eighty for Brady. You were good to us. The doors aren't quite open yet. I'm upstairs getting the movie ready. I get all that going. And I was just up here yelling, Chichinaro! Chichinaro! I don't know why, I heard that somewhere. I thought it was funny. So I was yelling it as loud as I could. And Emma came up and she's like, Someone was down there at the window saying, so Probably think I'm a crazy person, which I'm truth to that. Four minutes. So I can. I'm gonna play two trailers. Chichinaro! They're on! Chichinaro! Chichinetto. 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 All right, we're good to go. sponsored by American Family Insurance. So if you come back next Sunday at 1 p.m., we got this free movie for you. I just want to let everyone know that. And it's a really good movie too.
police taking me to pass out flyers. Quick turnover because this movie's only like an hour and 40 minutes. We just got the sign done and we used every letter. We ran out of ends. We had to use a cardboard end. All right, let's go. The name of the channel is Homestead How. Learn with us. Normally, we're learning about homesteading. Lately, it's been more about business and the movie theater, but I always like to share what I learned for the week. And part of the reason I do these videos is so that when I'm an old man like Otto, I can look back and relive these adventures and great memories of running the movie theater. And I really thank all of you so much for that because it wouldn't be possible without people watching these YouTube videos. This helps pay for things. And people coming out to the theater, of course, and uh, the theater's been just going beyond our expectations and we're so thankful for that. I guess what I learned this week was sometimes, uh, I guess, adults, older people, huge corporations, they don't always have it all figured out. I remember when I was graduating high school and I really wanted to start a business and I was thinking, I'm never gonna be able to do it. It's so hard, it's so complicated. But look at like some of these big mega warehouse movie theaters. They're doing it and uh, and they're screwing it all up and they're still doing it. And there's, now that I'm getting older, there's lots of businesses that I'm aware of that frankly I think are doing kind of a bad job, but they're here year after year and they're still figuring it out. So I guess what I've learned this week or reinforced this week, and maybe this is a lesson for my girls who are getting older, one of them's about to graduate from high school is, don't always just assume that older people have it all figured out and that you're confused and you just have to go get a crappy little job working for someone because you think they're smarter than you or they have it all figured out. A lot of people in life don't have it all figured out. A lot of people are sort of faking it till they make it, uh, myself included in many cases. So uh, I don't know what we can learn from that is, what I can learn from that is if I could go back in the past, I would have started a business a lot earlier. But like I said, I've always wanted to own my own businesses. Now I'm fortunate to own several and it's been a dream come true and I wish I would have done it a long time ago. The only reason I didn't was I, I didn't think I could do it. I thought it'd be too complicated. I thought everyone that ran businesses were ultra super geniuses that have it all figured out. And it turns out a lot of them don't have it figured out and a larger part of the equation is just doing a lot of smart work and hard work and common sense stuff. Also reinforced this week the importance of hard work hard work. I try to tell this to my girls when you graduate you're gonna be competing with other people whoever basically it's not all about smarts it's not all about grades it's about who's gonna put in that hard work who's gonna go above and beyond who's gonna jobs worth doing it's worth doing well under promise over deliver hard work is very important I am also so grateful for everything if the movie theater business comes to a big collapse and fails I'm not gonna have any regrets I'm gonna be very thankful for every moment. Thank you so much for watching and if you come out to Montello Theater, this would be a good time. This upcoming week we're playing Ant-Man and the Wasp, brand new, and uh, we also have Paddington 2 this week on Sunday. I am really looking forward to that. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the greatest movies of all time. I was joking around with it before, but if you're young, if you're old, if you're a senior citizen, if you're, if you're a kid, if you're a teenager, if you're my age, if you're a hardened criminal that just got released from 40 years in prison, if you're in a biker gang, everybody would enjoy watching Paddington 2. It's a great, great movie. So come on out and see it Sunday, 1 p.m., February 19th, completely free. Thank you to Tabitha and Shannon from American Family Insurance for sponsoring it. Kids are free, free popcorn, free drink, free movie. What else could you ask for? It's going to be great, and it's a great movie. So come on out this week to Montello Theater. We'd love to see you. And if you watch this video and you're coming to the theater, please tell me. I'm always there, and so many people have been telling me they've been watching the YouTube videos, and then they came, came out to the theater. I love hearing that. I love talking movies. I love talking history of the theater. So please, please, please tell me if you watched one of our videos and say hello. Love to chat with you more.